years. I'm sorry, Tim's gone... You have gone, to guess the year. Tim's gone the... 1990, I've gone 1989. Simone? I, I think it is 89, but I'll go 88 because I can't have the same year. I say... 91. 91. <laughs> okay. Um, there's some stuff on lemon sole there, mate. Oh, so, here we go. Uh, French name is Limard, meaning flatfish, and that London fisherman was misheard and we calling it lemon sole. Uh -huh. Devious deviations brought by Hugh Rawson. There we go. Sole is a type of fish served with lemon, hence lemon sole. Mm. Mm. You serve lemon with fish, actually, because in medieval times they reckoned that the lemon juice would actually dissolve the bones if you got stuck in your throat. That's where. That's why we use lemon oh, with fish. Oh, check you out. That's good knowledge. That is good knowledge. <laughs> good knowledge. Yeah. Right, more knowledge. Now it's time to see amazing penguins dealing with slippery conditions with a belly full of krill. Yeah. Kel Bazaar. Here's a clip of tomorrow's life. <laughs> right, all that's still to come back now. Belinda is in the kitchen with us. We didn't actually ask you if you can cook or enjoy cooking or... Yeah, no, I can cook, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm, I'd, I'd like to think of myself as being... Oh, you okay. did Hell's in Kitchen. France for 16 years, <laughs> yeah, then yeah. you're going to bounce We're in field. food now. We did Hell's Kitchen as well, didn't we? Yes, I did. And was it Hell? Yes. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, it was Hell. I don't do well with reality TV. In what sense? Just too invasive? Uh, it's, just, it's just, you know, the having 24-7 surveillance is not a... I was dreaming about cameras for weeks afterwards, following really? me around. It was horrible. Oh. Yeah, it was, I mean, he was really nice, and... I made, I made some good friends on the show, but I wasn't reality. Reality TV is not my thing. I, well. I just think you must have to self-edit all the time. You know, you yeah, sort you of do. You must, it, or it must take a while before you forget that they're there, if you ever do. I don't yeah, know. but it would be dangerous, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. I know what you're like in real life, Amanda. Yeah, and me nightmare. too. I know what you're like. Exactly. Probably more so. <laughs> more right, we're going to make fig rolls or fig newtons, we used to call, call Yeah, we call them fig newtons, but yeah. they, yeah. My favourite. Yeah, which I discovered, which is brilliant. So this is one of those things. The reason that we're doing this is because it was deemed that, it, as I say, it's, it's a good snack to have because it's relatively low in fat. So we've got our dried figs. Um, this is where I've kind of made it not quite so healthy. Yes. We've then got oh, uh, some touch. brandy. <laughs> uh, we've got some rose water for a lovely bit of perfume mm. and some water. Then the pastry is um, flour, a mix of plain flour and wholemeal yep, flour. See that. Sugar, a little bit of butter and some water. Okay, so the, the filling bit. So basically what we make first of all is kind of a figgy jam. Mm -hmm. So you simply put all of the dried figs that we've chopped up nice and fine together with the rose water and the brandy and the water and you just slowly cook those out. You don't ever want them to boil, you just want it on a gentle heat. And they cook and they cook and they cook and they start to break down. Okay. okay. So you think they're already kind of quite jammy, but they'll, they'll break down more and more and more. And can you make a big batch of these and just keep it in the, you know, a container for Christmas? Is yeah. that the idea? Absolutely just fine, keep yeah. Like normal biscuits. Yeah, okay. no problem at all. So as it cooks down, mm. then what you end up with is this lovely mm. kind of gooey, sticky mess. It's Have a little sniff of that because you can smell the rose water, Ooh, you can smell the brandy, good. so it's quite perfumey. Mm. Lovely. Okay, now, the flowers. So first job, Belinda Carlisle, for you is to pop the flour, the sugar and the butter into okay. the blender. Everything except the water. Now, we don't add the water because you've no idea sort of how much you need it. Again, it's one of those recipes that don't follow the amount of liquid absolutely to the letter. I think anything with flour is always a little right, bit unstable. Okay. Add it a little at a time. A little until at a time. Yeah, all in there. No, all the flour can go and that's fine. Okay. And then what we do... Oh, wait, I forgot the water. The water after. OK. OK, so first off, then just pulse it till it comes together. Pulse it. Okay. Okay. Now keep pulsing, and I'll just add a little dribble of water into that. And what you're looking for is for it to just come together. That's fine. You can stop. Mm, so what we end up with easy. is a very, very simple dough. Right. Okay. Okay. So what you've got is that. So it needs to be like that. So when you when you press it together, it feels slightly sticky, but it will come together. Okay. okay. Press all that together. Cover it. Chill it for about 20 minutes or so. And in front of you, you have that. Now, big task is you've now got to roll this out into okay. a long sausage, basically. We want it to be that long, but not much thicker, not much wider than it is, really. Mm -hmm. Now, when you, when you were on Hell's Kitchen, did they, did they teach you about rolling pastry? They probably did. I so one way, <laughs> one way you need to roll away from you. Roll away? Yeah. I didn't know that. And then, as you get to that point, then you can turn it round. OK. Good. So is Gordon still as big in the States? Is, is, is what? Gordon Ramsay still as big in the States as he I was? I don't know, because I'm I yeah, never in the States. never there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But I, I know that people know who he is, of course. You okay, a bit of am thing. I a good roller? You have a bit of a thing for him. Huh? Didn't you have a bit of a thing for him? For him? No. That's a, no, no, I didn't. 
<laughs> Ever so slightly bashful. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's good. So, so what we're doing, we're rolling out. So what you've got is you've got this, this really nice dough, mm. which again, the little bit of wholemeal pastry gives it a little bit more flavour. I was going to say, it looks denser. That's fine. That's great. Then, what we need to do is just trim that so we've got a perfect okay. rectangle. Okay, so it's a really simple thing to do. It's a nice thing to do with your kids. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a really, really easy dish to do. Like trim like that? Yeah. So what kind of things do you cook? Um, pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone cooks pasta. pasta. Actually, I, I do Basically. fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, and no. nothing fancy. It's more comfort food. Yeah. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Not out of the box, so homemade. Okay. Now, next thing, just trim the top and the bottom okay. of that as well for me. So how much time do you actually get to chill out then if you're working? It hasn't been a whole lot this be. year because I've been tra I've been all over the world this year tra working and traveling. So. Um, it hasn't, I haven't been home this year a whole, a whole lot. It's okay. Okay, now, right down the middle, a little strip of the of the figgy jam. Okay. Well, we were talking about India earlier, and you yeah. and I ended up We've been basically the know people. the same people in the same town in India, very randomly. It's so weird. And it's you're, you're planning on living there for part of the... Part of the year, yeah, exactly. I, I do four to six months a year. Is, oh. is, uh, I've never and been. And come back when I have to work. I've never been. I can't believe I've never been to India. Really I can't like believe I've never been. It's no, the summer no. that I think you would you'd yeah. really enjoy travelling around. No, I love it there. It's my favourite. But literally, we're, we're sitting talking about the same people on that couch. Going, oh, how about this guy? How about that guy? I know. And it's just weird. It's a, small, it's a small town in India, too. That's too weird. I know. <laughs> it's way world. too weird. Is that enough? Is that all right? Just right down yeah. to the bottom. OK, yeah. then what we do is just brush a little bit of butter, a little bit of water. Can I use my finger? You can. Absolutely okay. fine. I will tell no okay. one. And then all you need to do, Belinda, is just fold it into the middle so we roll it. So, so the one side goes in and then just press it over. So it's, so it's quite pliable. Mm, I'm not sure it's going to so go over. Yeah. You see? It looks like it's uh, kind of uneven. It's fine. So it's roll good. it over to the middle? Yeah. All you need to do is just a bit of that. See, it's quite... Okay. The, because the, the dough is quite pliable. And the same on the other side. It doesn't matter oh, if okay. it kind of squeezes out. You know, it's, it's a homemade fig roll. What we're going to do is sort of try and, try and get it to meet in the middle. I did. I'll put some more fig there. So it can be easy. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then. That's good. Then. Okay. <laughs> then what we need to do. Is, is that alright? Yeah. yeah. What you're looking to do is kind of overlap it, really. Oh, okay, sorry. Because otherwise it will ooze out. This is. Does it matter if it oozes out, given this is all homemade well, and it's it, it, and... it, it, it might just kind of ooze too much, really. And then all we do is we cut them into pieces about. Mm. That kind of size, okay? Mm. Then finally, what we do because they always have those little striation marks on them. Yeah. So all you do, turn them over so the cut side is down, and as I say, make sure they overlap a little bit. And then with a fork, we yeah. ah, there we go. With a fork, what we do is dip into the flour and just run the fork down oh. the middle. Like okay. That, okay. So we get little marks on. Don't need to do that. It's just kind of what oh, you get sorry. in the packet. It's that thing we're trying to recreate what we get in the packet, Amanda. And Tim will say why. Yeah. And I'll say it's going to taste better. Tim will say, yeah. Yeah. So just purely for the fun of it, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then these go into yeah. an oven 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. All you're doing is cooking the pastry, basically. Because right. obviously okay. the filling is, is already yeah. cooked. And the filling is delicious. The filling, I think, is something that, um, as we do sort of start thinking about Christmas, that you can do in like a pudding or something. It's a really nice flavour. So that's what we end up with. And then. What we have. Come on, round. Yeah. One, two. The smell three. really, really good. A little bit of red currant on there. So good. Dust it with a little bit of icing sugar. Yeah. It's Christmas. It's it does look, Yeah. You said Blender you didn't like fig new arriving, and now it's arrived. Have yourself, huh? Okay. You like? You're making yeah. it arrive yeah. early, yeah. Christmas. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Please try this. Use my hands. Uh, yeah, of course you can. Please try this. Yeah, good. Right, all of today's I recipes well. are available on our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash summer for the weekend. Mm. Or if you have an internet enabled phone, text weekend yeah. to 81010 mm. and we'll yeah. send a so link good. to our mobile sites. Text costs 10 to 15p depending on your <laughs> network. <laughs> what do you like it? Do you like mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Good. All right, right, coming up, Cajun beans and cornbread for brunch, which I'll be mm -hmm. cooking with Adam mm -hmm. Davis. Uh,